Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Now today I will show you how to create this cool 3D logo animation from any 2D logo. In the first part of the video, I show you how to export Illustrator files to Cinema 4D. In the second part of the video, I will show you how to create the 3D object and animation with Cinema 4D. In the bonus part of the video, I will show you how I edit my animations with Adobe After Effects. Let's get started Arties. To convert our 2D logo into a 3D logo, we need the logo in a path format. For this I use Adobe Illustrator, but you can also use Adobe Photoshop. Open the program and create a new drawing area with 1080 pixel in height and width. Insert your logo as image file or as ready illustrator file there. If you have a photo, it is best to use a black and white graphic. Select your image file and press image tracer at the top of the bar. If you are satisfied with the result, press the button convert on the top of the page. As you can see there is still a white area around the logo. To remove it, press the right mouse button on the image and select ungroup. Now you can select the white frame and delete it. Then select the color black for the outline only. Now we have to save the file as Illustrator file. Under version you have to choose Illustrator 8, because it is the only version that is supported by Cinema 4D. Now open Cinema 4D and drag the file into the program. You can now select all paths and choose connect objects plus delete with the right mouse button. Then select extrude in the upper bar and place the path below it. Under offset you select the value 0.15 cm. After that you select the category caps. At size you choose the value 0.05 cm. At size depth you choose. 100 and at segments 50. At the end you set a check mark at bevel outside. Now we come to the material. Double click to create a new material. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and then add and insert a new Beckman layer. Set the value of specular strength to 0%. The first material is ready, you can drag it onto the logo. Now select sky in the top bar. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material. Here we only need the luminance chan. L, under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose an old graphic of mine. The material is ready, you can drag it to the sky. At Patreon you can find the complete project file, I link you the account in the caption. Now we come to the animation, first we select the object and make it a current state object. For this we use the button in the upper left corner. Now we search for the function axis center. At alignment we set a check mark and select world there. Now we press execute so that the axis cross is perfectly centered in the middle of the logo. After that we extend the animations to 5 seconds. Set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation by pressing the button with the key icon. Then we move the slider to the end of the animation. Now we use the rotate tool and rotate the logo 360 degrees and set another keyframe. The back side of the logo is mirrored, so I want it to be seen in the animation as short as possible. We move the animation slider until we see the side of the logo. 
There we set a keyframe and repeat the process for the other side. Now we can move the inner keyframes closer to each other, so that the back side rotates faster. Now we come to the render settings. Press the button with the cog wheel on the top of the bar. Under render or select physical. Choose a suitable format and select frame range all frames. So that we don't see the sky during rendering, we have to set the following three hooks under save. So that we get the file later with a transparent background, we have to select PNG under format. This is the only format that supports a transparent background. That's it, the animation is ready to render. In the next part of the video I will show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Double click to insert the finished PNG sequence into Adobe After Effects. It can happen that the graphic is displayed darker than it actually is. This is caused by the gamma value. To fix this problem, search for color and gamma conversion in the effects window. Under gamma conversion select linear to sRGB. Then look for the effect hue slash saturation. Under master saturation select the value 30. Then duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 30%. Then select the bottom layer and search for the effect echo. At number of echoes select the value 3, at decay select 0, 0,75 and at echoes operator select maximum. If you now play the animation a kind of tail appears at the rotation. At the end we search for the effect edge glow. There we set a check mark at colorize and choose a color from the logo of tint color. Finally I work with overlays here too. For this I use a star animation. Insert the video into the layer window and position it over the logo. Then duplicate the bottom layer and move it all the way to the top. For the star animation choose alpha mat so that the stars are only visible on the logo. Finally set the blending mode to add. Now you have a star animation on the logo. That's it with the tutorial, I hope you liked it. From 10,000 followers I will record the tutorials personally and also show myself. I am happy about every support. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.